I'm here with Britta from VR Distribution. We're at the Melbourne Toy Fair. Can you tell us what's happening uh, these couple of days at the fair? Uh, yeah, so uh, thanks Liam for having me here. Um, uh, the Australian Toy Fair or the Melbourne Toy Fair is a trade show event, so it's trade and media only and it's a place for businesses um, and new businesses to showcase their new releases, their hot sellers um, and their big products for the year. There's an Australian Toy Award that happens every year at this event as well, um, where you find the Game of the Year and the Toy of the Year, Product of the Year, Sustainability Toy of the Year. Um, everyone get, kind of gets their bragging rights going. So that's sort of what's happening uh, here. Can we roll back just a second? So um, a lot of people who play games are gonna recognize um, companies that maybe um, release games. What's the role of a distributor? Uh, so the distributor's role is to make sure the retailers have the right products for the consumers or for the gamers to buy. Um, so what we do here at Toy Fair is we present our biggest and best sellers as well as some of our new releases. Uh, we try to support our brand partners, so we have some sponsored uh, sections of the stand for um, some of our bigger brands, but we generally try to showcase uh, something from every single one of our brand partners to give them some representation. So how does uh, an event like this, a trade show, it's not open to public, how does that really sort of play into the release of a game uh, from, you know, when it might be announced or on Kickstarter or whenever, however it is released, um, to the, the moment where someone picks it up off the shelf at their local store? Yes, that's a great question. Um, we don't announce every single new title here at Toy Fair. Obviously the timing doesn't line up and with board games you need to be on the minute that it comes out. Um, so you can't wait to announce something at Toy Fair. When it comes out, it comes out. Uh, we have been lucky to have some titles here we can bring to the public for the first time or to the trade for the first time. Um, so we've got a few games like Azul Mini and the Camelot card game which people haven't seen inside. We have Disney Dixit as well which nobody has seen inside and won't be public knowledge but trade are able to come through and have a peek and see what they'll be getting in store. Um, for us with the new releases it's a great way to start to build the anticipation for a game because the first step is getting stores interested because if they're not in stores then people can't have those new releases on their tables eventually so it's a way for us to just get people excited um, from the business side of things so that when it is ready to go they're ready to get their customers excited and um, show, showcase the games in the best light. So I guess there's just a lot that happens sort of behind the scenes to, to, to get those games into stores. Um, uh, you sort of talked about, um, so obviously they're familiar with like local game stores that have a, a, a strong focus on uh, hobby board games and also like TCGs with Magic being you know, the most popular. Is, is there a sort of push to extend that sort of reach of board games? Yeah, absolutely. So a toy fair is a toy fair. Um, and you know, maybe to the public that doesn't translate to board games or TCGs, collectibles and things like that. It's probably not the first thing on their mind when they think of a toy fair and we're trying to change that. So coming and having such a big display that we have here right in the front entrance is basically us saying we're here, we're board games in the toy industry um, and we are something to take note of. So we want the, the, we want the big stores to notice, we want everybody to have games in their stores just like they'd have a Barbie or just like they'd have a yo-yo. And I guess that's where we see the the, the, the range, where we're standing, we, you know, there's sort of games for kids, there's also big hobby games that are maybe more um, Great Western Trail Argentina, where it's sort of more sort of people who are already invested in the hobby, but there's, there's the, the whole range here and at, at a lot of the booths that they're trying to appeal to the, the larger audience. Yeah, basically that, that's that's right, yeah. So we have a huge range of things. We want to draw people in with our lighter party games. We want to show how those not only transform inside the retail space, but also inside someone's home. So our gateway games or our party games are the gateway for mass for, for mass channels basically to um, start having board game nights and then they can move into our strategy. So we've sort of developed our stand a little bit like that where you are welcomed by familiar games or easy looking games or games that look like they're a lot of fun and then as you go through our stand you start to get to those heavy things and that's kind of describes the board game journey for a lot of players as well. Though it is perfectly reasonable to just enjoy party games with friends every so often. You don't, not everyone has to love Twilight Imperium 4 or one of those big games, but uh, it is nice that you have that transition that you can sort of have those gateway games that are going to get you into there. You're like, oh, what's this mechanic? Oh, where is that from? And then slowly build up and then it's all day, every weekend. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's, um, I mean, uh, I've not played Twilight Imperium, but, um, you know, I'm rather a chicken versus hot dog kind of person. <laughs> 
Twitter. Thank you very much for sort of showing us a sort of behind the scenes look uh, at Toy Fair and why a trade show is sort of still relevant and still important uh, to everyday board gamers. Yeah, it's very relevant. I think um, there was a big break because of COVID, people couldn't meet in person. Um, and this show has really shown us how important it is to meet in, in person. Having the retailers through and being able to touch the games, see the games, they're just like you guys, you know, they're just like the gamers. They want to be able to touch and feel and see what they're investing in. Um, the same as you want to touch and feel and see what you're investing in. Um, and we just like to put a personal touch on it, meet, our, meet the people that we're working with and show them that we really care. Thank you very much. Thank you.